Hey guys, welcome to the ASCAM my YouTube channel. Now, the lighting in it has got my face looking a bit filtered. Um, I'm doing a few different things with my room at the minute. Um, hence the sort of bootleg setup. You're sort of facing me in the wrong direction. It looks a bit strange. I've got my laptop in front of me. As you can see, we've got most of the results on the right hand side over here. And then the results here and the predictions. Now, what I'm going to do is because I haven't got two screens connected at the minute, um, I'm going to have to look at them over there and then, you know, see who won on that one. And then I'm going to put my predictions in there. Now, Ollie has been kind and he has sent me um, his predictions that you've already guessed, um, but they'll be in a video that you'll see later on today, slash tomorrow. I mean, we're almost into the next morning now, so technically it'll be later today, but you know what I mean. You'll see his sort of in the morning, mid afternoon sort of time. And so, um, we're going to run through each game. We're going to figure out who won and who got points out of the first round. And then obviously tomorrow, which will be Monday, is where all these games start. So I'm looking forward to it because we've got England versus Tunisia. Now, apologies for Pepper in the background uh, because I've moved her and the blowing of the nose. But because I've moved her, she's just become dead active. So if she's running around, I do apologise. I've got... A full PC here which isn't my new one it's my old one that I'm trying to reconfigure so I can give it Becky um, as sort of like a mixed birthday present because she needs a new computer so I said I'm I'm getting rid of it slash selling it you might as well have it and then I'll throw in I'll th obviously as a good boyfriend does I'll throw in a few other things probably go on holiday somewhere if we can but anyway getting into the actual football stuff Russia versus Saudi Arabia now I personally guessed 3-1 to Russia and Ollie guessed three 0 Now we were both correct in the fact that we both get a point. If it will work, trying our hardest, guys. We've got normal lock on. There we go. There we go. So we both get a point as we both guessed the correct winner. As you can see here, Russia actually won five 0 That was a very very good opening game. Um, Russia played relatively good Saudi Arabia not so brilliant now in the next game it was Egypt versus Uruguay now I guess that Uruguay would win that or um, Oli guessed that sorry about that Oli guessed that it would be 1-1 one, one. now the actual result was 1-0 to Uruguay because of that Oli doesn't get a point but I get another point because I guess that Uruguay would win now I get another point because I guess that Uruguay would win. So I'm now on to two points. I didn't get the correct score so I don't get any bonus points for that. In fact I might do a total. There we go, I'm back. So I've added in a total column just so that at the end of each week we can add up, you know, the amount of scores that we get. So moving into the next game is Morocco versus Iran. We both guessed that Morocco would win that game. I said 1-0, uh, Oli said 2-0. Now, as you can see from the right-hand side, Iran actually won, so we both get no points for that because we both didn't guess the correct winner. Moving on to the... In fact, we could probably make this a little bit bigger. How does that look? There we go. So, moving on to the Portugal versus Spain. I personally predicted a 3-2 win for Spain. It's very close with that. Oli predicted 2-1 for Spain. Now, we both... So I got that wrong, it ended up 3-3, I was very, very close, and in all fairness, I would have got the correct score if Ronaldo didn't score that wonder free kick in the, you know, 90th minute, 88th, something like that. So, another one where we both don't get any points. Um, moving on, we have France versus Australia. What you might find is the fact that our guesses for the correct winner usually stay the same. It's not very often that we'll venture out, because, you know, we know the teams... It may venture out into like the second and third weeks because we've seen the teams play. Maybe one of us caught our eye. Maybe one of us hasn't been watching all the games. So, you know. But the France versus Australia, I guessed 3 0 for uh, France. And Oli guessed 2 0 for uh, France. It actually ended up, where is it? It's that one there. 2 1 to France. Now, that was a game that I watched and I was very, very upset at the lack of enthusiasm. In the lack of attacking power that France showed, 
and then they got a lucky penalty call and you know they, they scored late on in the game uh, but again we both got the correct score no the correct result so I got to three while he goes up to two but none of us got the correct score moving on we have Argentina versus Iceland now I guessed 4-1 Oli guessed 2-1 it ended up 1-1 so none of us get a point for that because it ended up a draw not a win now this is a game where we had opposing views I guessed a 2-0 win for Denmark whereas Oli guessed a 1-0 win for Peru it actually ended up a 1-0 win for Denmark which means that because I guessed that Denmark would win I get a point so I go up to four and Ollie stays exactly where he is on two. Uh, the next was the Croatia, Croatia, said that a bit weirdly, Croatia versus the Nigeria. Now we both guessed two nil um, to Croatia and look at that two nil to Croatia. So we both get a point for guessing the winner. One point. Oh now I'm up to five, sorry. He goes up to three, and then we both get two additional points for getting the correct result. Yeah, so next the Costa Rica versus Serbia. I specifically guessed 1 0 to Serbia, whereas uh, Oli guessed 1 0 to Costa Rica. And as you can see, 1 0 to Serbia, I got that result pretty bang on. So I go up an extra one, go up to six, but now I'm on four. Uh, in terms of the correct score so I've done very well two games in a row then now this game I must say I was very very disappointed today because these two games are on today in fact all three of these are on today Costa Rica, Serbia, Germany, Mexico and Brazil, Switzerland they were the ones on today I was very 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 upset with that Germany game I was well, and in fact I was actually upset with the Brazil game I wasn't too happy with how that went. We both guessed 3 1. We were both wrong. Uh, Mexico ended up winning that 1 0. Which, given Mexico and their due, they were very, very good. They played excellently. Like, if there's one team that I think after the first round of games will be underdogs so far, I'm going to go Mexico. Because they played outstanding. They were. 100% attacking they you know they gave it their all defend pardon me defensively maybe they weren't brilliant but Germany didn't really do anything to you know expose any of that so they could go um, quite far I reckon and then in the last one uh, Brazil versus Switzerland I guessed 4-0 to Brazil whereas Oli guessed 2-0 that ended up 1-1 so we don't get another point so point I don't know why I've done a total column because it doesn't quite show so I'm just gonna here we go there we go there you go added that back on so now that we've gone through those and we see where we're standing I'm on 10 points Oli is on five, so I'm, I'm quite a bit in the lead, but you know, it's all to play for, we've got a lot more games coming up this week, we have, you know, almost twice as many games, if not definitely twice as many games, so we have Sweden versus South Korea, now that's a game that's on tomorrow morning, um, I was actually doing a few predictions with my dad before I came home, because we watched the Brazil game. I'm very unsure about this result on the basis that Sweden haven't got Ibra, but they've got the likes of Forsberg and Berg. South Korea haven't got anyone too notable other than Hyung Min Son. Now, if Hyung Min Son can perform, like we've seen one or two players do, but then one or two players haven't, then I reckon that they can win. Um, so on that basis, I'm going a simple two, no, one. One to South Korea. I will input Ollie's when uh, after the video is done so it doesn't spoil it. And you will have to see if you're wondering why I keep like licking my lips a little bit. 
is because I think I'll just chip the front of my tooth right there, um, trying to get a knife out of a pen knife sort of thing, That's like a multi tool, and I couldn't quite get it out, so I've used my teeth, and I think I've done a bit of my teeth. Anyway, Belgium versus Panama. Now, as we've seen in the past few days, is the the likes of the big teams, such as like Belgium, Brazil, Germany, Argentina, they haven't been performing. Now, my dad, my dad, my dad reckons that Belgium are going to be one of the teams similar to Portugal and Spain that are just going to go and absolutely smash it. They're going to win five, six, seven nil. But at the same time, I've got a sort of reserved feeling towards that so I'm going to go 3-0 just play it safe I know Belgium will win it'll be more of a ridiculous result if Panama win but I can't see that happening you know I'm not going to base it on the likes of I don't know Serbia beating Costa I don't know that's not much of a Mexico I'm not going to say well Mexico were the underdogs and they beat Germany that's another big upset you know, Brazil versus Switzerland, that ended up a draw, that was a big... I'm not going to base Panama's performance upon that. And the likes of, again, Tunisia on that. So I'm just going to do it how I think them games specifically will go, because we haven't seen them yet. These first sort of five or six, we are yet to see. And so on that basis, the England versus Tunisia, I reckon it's going to be a 3-0. Now the reason for that, it's either going to be 3-0 or 2-1. I did that really slick. Um, it's because I think there'll definitely be three goals. It'll either be we score two in the first half slash start of the second half, and then we score one late on, or we score two, and then late on we concede one. So that can go either way. But I'm going to go three nil. Oh no, that says Tunisia. Nil three. There we go. Belgium, South Korea, yeah, that makes sense. Sorry about that, guys. You probably were shouting at your screams. Screams? You were probably screaming at your screens. There you go. It's late, I'm tired. It's tired, I'm late. You know what I mean. Um, yeah, so Colombia versus Japan is the next one. Specifically, I think Colombia have got to win that one. I don't think there's that many Japanese players other than Kagawa that I really know or I've heard of or can perform too well. And, you know, on that basis, I'm going to go Colombia 2-0. Easy as you like. Quite a straightforward one for you guys. Uh, Poland versus Senegal. Is it Poland? Poland? I, don't, I think it's one of the tomato tomato ones. It's, I say Poland sounds posh, but Poland sounds a bit rough, doesn't it? It's a bit in between. So Poland versus Senegal. That game for me is going to be one of them tight ones. It can go either way. Because Poland having nights of Lewandowski, Piszczek, Glick, who can really, really perform, you know, Szczesny. They've got quite a, if you were to put it down on paper, you've got two outstanding players in the likes of Lewandowski and Glick. You know, Glick, a really big rock at the back. Lewandowski, world class, world class striker who plays for Dortmund. But put it on paper, it's relatively average in comparison to all the big teams. The likes of Senegal are very, very similar. They've got Koulibaly at the back. They have the likes of, is it Kiate and, you know, that sort of level of players. Is it Kameni that they have in goal? Don't don't quote me on that. I reckon I'm right, though. Um, but, yeah, they just lack that attack, although they've got the likes of Bolde Diaw now. Um, he's come through. And so I'm going to go, I'm going to go for a boring 1-1 one, one draw. That's probably a bit probably a bit too safe in the likes of anyone can win that one do I go with a draw I think it might be no I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna keep it a draw yeah so next we move on to Russia versus Egypt now Egypt played very well they didn't deserve to lose to Uruguay um, but at the same time Russia played very well I'm gonna go for a what do I want to do I'm going to go for a 2-1 Russia. I don't think Egypt are going to be playing that well. I think when Egypt played Uruguay, I don't think Uruguay were good enough to win. And that's the reason that Egypt should have won. Not because Egypt were good, but because Uruguay were playing bad. I mean, Egypt were okay anyway, but 
Russia did play well, to be fair. Next is Portugal versus Morocco. Ronaldo fest. Enough said. If Ronaldo plays exactly how he played against the likes of uh, Spain, then we're in for a treat. Um, I reckon he could easily get golden boot this, this tournament, even if he only gets to the semi-final and doesn't play the final. I reckon he can get golden boot. Um, Uruguay versus Saudi Arabia. Now, that's a game I'd like to see. I'd like to see, obviously, Uruguay win it 2-0, which is what I'm going to predict. But that's if the likes of you know Suarez, Cavani, um, Jimenez again, uh, Godin all play very well. But that is on the basis that they do play well. Now, Iran versus Spain. Spain have got that easily, 3-0. I'm going. They played very, very good football, but I reckon they're going to play it safe in the likes. So they're going to do plenty of passing and moving. They're going to score a few goals, and then they're just going to relax, take it quite easy. Don't want to get anyone injured, take off your big players. That sort of mentality. Denmark, Australia. Australia played very well against France. I know France weren't good, but Australia did very well at pressing. The likes of Denmark played very well against Cos uh, Costa Rica, because I looked at the word Costa Rica then, um, Peru. And so, No, I'm going to give it Denmark. I'm going to give it Denmark 1-0. I reckon that's going to be one of the games that's quite boring and nothing really happens. Mainly because Denmark have Ericsson. Australia have the likes of Tim Cahill. No one really super of uh, uh, super quality for Australia. I know, obviously, Denmark and Schmeichel, uh, Christiansen and Ericsson uh, are very well. But I, that grammar was poor. I know for Denmark, they have Schmeichel. Ericsson, Christensen, people like that. So I reckon it might edge it. Uh, France, Peru. I'd like to see France win that 2-0. I can't see it being any more than that. I've actually changed my mind on who I think is going to win, by the way. I don't think it's going to be France at all. Not with the way that they played. They were atrocious. Argentina versus Croatia. Now, this is probably going to be the major upset for me. I'm going to go, and this could go completely wrong, I'm going to go 2-1 Croatia. What did the Croatia game end up? 2-0 against Nigeria. I've got a suspicious feeling Argentina aren't going to play well again. I reckon they're going to do exactly what... Was it Holland or Spain in the last international? Where they just crash out of the groups. They they didn't put a good side out. The likes of Dybala and Higuain didn't feature. I don't think they might have done. We have Messi, Aguero, Di Maria... There might have been Dybala, I reckon. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure my dad said they didn't play. So, yeah, I reckon Croatia might edge that. Their team played very well, to be fair. It was quite a... Nigeria were good, they were very attacking, but Croatia just had that, you know, uniformed look. They were very disciplined, which was very good. As you can tell, I'm super tired. I had the wedding yesterday. I've been working this morning out all afternoon, so... Ignore the tired face and the rubbing of the neck and whatnot. It probably makes good sounds, to be fair, but oh well. Brazil, Costa Rica. Um, I reckon that's a 2 0 win to Brazil. Again, tonight they didn't play brilliantly, and I was very, very disappointed with them. Because I, th I thought uh, I thought it would be a Brazil and France final. I think that's what I predicted anyway. Or maybe a Brazil, Germany, France, Germany, sorry. Something along those lines. I thought they were going to be super attacking, do very well, and they just, they just weren't. They, they scored that goal with Coutinho, which, bearing in mind, it was a good goal. But when you really break it down, it was because of a poor clearance straight to his feet. It was from outside the box, so it's not as if they worked the ball into the box. It was more of a, I was outside the box, had a bit of space, and I shot. I mean, luckily, it was on target, which you should expect from Coutinho. Other than that, they didn't play very well at all. Nigeria versus Iceland. I'm going to go 2-1 Iceland. Iceland looked like a power horse again. They played so well. Who did they play? They played Egypt? Argentina? Oh, of course it was. And they drew 1-1. One, one. They're in the same group I've just talked about. Uh, yeah, so... Iceland have come out of nowhere yet again. Now, it looked ridiculous when England lost to them, like, what, four years ago? Two years ago? Was it in the Euros? It might have been in the Euros. Or the World Cup. I can't quite remember what it was. We lost to them, and we got absolutely smashed upon. 
Argentina are doing exactly the same. If not worse, because they have Messi. At the at the time, we had Harry Kane, who was, yes, he was world class, but he's not at the level he is now, where he's proved himself to be that one hundred percent top leader. But bonkers, right? Next is Serbia versus Switzerland. Um, I've got a one nil Serbia on that one. Switzerland did play very well tonight, but. bit shoddy they didn't have enough attacking threat they scored a good corner they did well defensively but Serbia just looked like a much better team at the minute Serbia did play very well um, next is Belgium versus Tunisia another game that I've got to sort of go in quite blind because we haven't seen the likes of Belgium or Tunisia or England Panama Japan snap the Senegal is all, all them um, yeah so I'm going to check I'm recording. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Belgium versus Tunisia. I'm going to go another 2 0. I'm going to play it quite safe and go 2 0 Belgium. I think that's quite obvious. South Korea versus Mexico. Now, this is the game for me. I'm going to go 2 1 Mexico, if not more. That's what I'm, pred I'm predicting more than 2 1. Because depending on how South Korea play, if they show that their defence isn't brilliant, when we see them tomorrow morning if we see that that defense is like and they don't know what they're doing then mexico is just going to trounce upon that lozano right fifa sweaty as heck right he's absolutely mad and i thought it's just going to be one of them broken fifa cards which it has been but when we saw him perform today he looked ridiculous his feet move so quick not just running, but with a ball. His feet are just like, pass, shot. Even if his shooting isn't brilliant, his finishing isn't great, his long shots aren't great, he's still pressing and he's still doing everything that a, you know, a winger or a striker should be doing. So I reckon they could score a lot more. But then again, if South Korea are very disciplined, then you know it might be a bit more tough. Germany versus Sweden, I'm going 2-0 Germany. I think they'll pull the rack together a bit now that they've uh, lost to Mexico and they'll really push forward uh, England Panama I'm going another 2-0 if not more again uh, we haven't seen the likes of Panama yet they could just go part of the bus and it'd be dead hard to break down we end up whipping the ball into Harry Kane in the 90th minute and they score a header obviously we haven't seen them so it might be a bit difficult but I'm still predicting a win that's more what I'm focused on for these ones Japan versus Senegal I'm going and go 1-0 Senegal. I don't think they'll score more than one. You know, they haven't got that much of an attacking threat. And then Poland versus Colombia. I'm going 1-0. I think that's going to be a draw. The last three I've sort of smashed out. Uh, England, we need a win. Senegal, I think I've got a much better team all round than Japan itself. I, don't, I can't see it being extravagant for Japan at all. Uh, I can't see them getting out of the groups. That's for sure. Um, and then the Poland versus Colombia. I can't really decide on a winner. I haven't seen them play when it comes to them playing in two days time so on Tuesday I could completely change my mind it could go either way for me that can it could be like actually Poland look terrible Lewandowski gets injured end of their line Colombia play well same for Colombia James Rodriguez might not have the same audacity he had at um, the last World Cup um, you know Quadrado might not be playing too well. Just, just stuff like that happens for some teams. So I'm going to quickly save it just so it's saved. And then my predictions. So currently we are 6 4 3 2. So 10 to 5, we are winning. What I'm going to quickly go and do is because of that result there, I'm just going to check that he definitely had uh, 1 0 to Costa Rica and not 1 0 to Serbia because otherwise that will impact the results he might be owed an extra one point which will take his total up to six which means I'll still be in the lead but I'll report back to you um, you know next week when we review these again if I ended up changing that so I'll see you later guys bye